Hello friends, welcome to National PC YouTube channel, myself Prasenjit. Today I will show you one of the best router from Asus, which is Asus Gen Wi-Fi XT8. It has tri-band and it has Wi-Fi 6 enable and it also has the 6600 Mbps of bandwidth. This router has many more features available like 2.5G port, lifetime free internet security. In this video, I will show you all the technical details. I will show you how to install the mesh features and I will show you how to install this with another mesh supported router. So begin this video. Asus Zen Wi-Fi XT8. It's a Wi-Fi 6 router and it has total bandwidth of 6600 Mbps and it also has the tri-band features. It's a great features because nowadays mesh system is, is very much popular because everyone is, needs the total coverage area of its internet and Wi-Fi 6 needs the high speed also. So in this mesh router, whenever you connect the two router or more router in the same network, it needs a backhaul features. For the backhaul features, when you are connected the wireless, the backhaul features need some bandwidth. So if you need the normal router mesh or normal router meshing system, so it will block some your bandwidth of your network. But when you are using the tri-band router, you can use the single band or the one dedicatedly band for the backhaul features. So it will not blocking your internet speed or it will not blocking your file sharing speed. This is one of the major features in the tri-band router. This has in XT8. Parallel to this, this router has many other features like lifetime free trained micro antivirus. It's a great feature because nowadays in internet, everyone is able, uh, want to serve or want to use the internet for all purpose. So virus protection is much more needed. But in your home, you just check if you have the multiple computer, multiple router, many more mobile. So if you uh, want to install or if you want to purchase some antivirus, it will cost you more. So, but if your router itself has this internet security features, it's a great. So, and the trend micro is an industrial grade antivirus. This X8 has the same trend micro antivirus. And parallel to this, this router has 2.5G WAN port. You can convert this as a LAN port also because this router has also dual WAN facility. So, with this dual WAN features, you can choose to use the parallel internet connection. One is through the LAN port, one is through the WAN port. You can also use the USB dongle for the internet facility. And I will show you in the BIOS features in this uh, router uh, page features that this dual WAN facility, how to use this facility. Parallel to this, this device has many more other advantages like it has a 1.5 GHz of quad core processor, 256 MB of flash and 512 MB of RAM. So it's a huge, pretty much fast router. Parallel to this, this router has the, you can look, this has a very much different looks. It doesn't have the external antennas because this router already have the six internal antennas and these are much more powerful. This router has the uh, total four model actually. Two is a black single pack and one is white single pack and one is white dual pack and one is black two pack. If you use the single pack features, it has the total coverage area of 2705, uh, near about uh, 2700 um, uh, square foot of coverage area. But if you use the dual pack, it will give you the 500, 5500 square feet of total coverage area. So it's a huge area you can cover with this device. And this device, when you show you the unboxing time, it has the USB 3.1 generation one port so you when you use as a file sharing purpose if you connect one hard disk or any kind any kind of device it will give you 5 gbps of speed so you can use this as a data server because this router also have the other advantage like ai disks or ai cloud so you can use this uh, your home data anywhere from your internet anywhere from the world whenever you go visit you just open the ai cloud or ai disk simply you will get your files and everything so let's unboxing this package and I will show you all the ports, all the features one by one. Asus Gen Wi-Fi XT8. It's a well packed. It's a very big size. So let's unpack this first. Wow, 
What a look. Very lightweight, not heavy. The same identical two device. First check the accessories. It has some arrow. Wow. Asus has all type of connectors. If you visit any other country with this device, you can use this. Otherwise, you can choose as per your requirement. After that, this is a VIP number notice, some warranty guides or setup guide. This setup guide, I will show you how to use this. This is a very good quality of RJ45 cable. It is normally the CAT6 cable inside. This is the 19 volt power adapter for the two device. No accessories is there left. Both are two identical. Let us open one by one. Wow, white and this is the gold color emblem of the Asus. Open the another one. First check the front, this is a full plane. And this side has the ventilation for the heating purpose and this side also have the ventilation. Top have, have also some air gap for the ventilation purpose, the heat, the hot air can easily move the upside. Here is some LED, whenever you uh, the power on this device, this LED will glow and this LED has some more features also. Whenever you want to configure something or you do not have internet connection, this LED color will be changed. Now check the back side. Back side first one is the DC input. And second one is the power, this is the power the mechanical switch and after that there is three LAN port, these three LAN port are actually the Giga LAN, the one GBPS LAN and this one is the 2.5 gigabit of LANs and you can use this as a one port or as a LAN port, you can vice versa is this in this uh, with the help of ASUS software and this one is for the USB port, this is the USB 3.1 generation one port. So this all have uh, some good quality of the port, you can check. And this side is some, uh, some Asus model name and serial numbers and nothing is there. One thing I want to mention this with this device, this device has the total bandwidth of 6600 of Mbps. That does not mean that in a single band or a single connection you get the 6.6 Gbps. In a single band like if you use, want to use the 2.5 uh, G frequency then you will get the maximum bandwidth of 574 Mbps. And if you use the 5 gigahertz band, in 5 gigahertz there is two band, one band is 4804 that means 4.8 gigahertz of bandwidth and another band is for 1201 and 1.2 gigahertz of bandwidth. So now I will start this device and I will show you how to connect this device together or how to connect with another network which is already in the existing AIMS. And I will show you how to configure the trend micro and how to use the USB applications everything in the ASUS software. ASUS Zen Wi-Fi XT8. Now we will power on this device, when we start this device it will first glow the white LED, after that it will start to booting up, it will take some time and it will turn to green LED. After it is totally booting up, if is, there is no settings and no existing network, it will turn to the blue LED. Now I will show you how to configure this router using the ASUS mobile app. The first I have to choose the Wi-Fi signal, if you have the already existing signal then it will, uh, you can choose the, the new signal. This is uh, this already booted device, it is showing the ASUS one router signal, after it is totally boot on, there will be some two signal will be showing, I will show you one by one right now. Kindly it is showing only one Wi-Fi signal, now it is totally booted up, now there will be two signal from the two different router. One is ASUS E0 and one is ASUS 5.0. So we will choose this one signal from the ASUS E2.0. We will now disconnect it from the existing network. Now I have already downloaded the ASUS router app 
and we have some existing network so we have to uh, press the plus button and set up as a new network new network just choose the asus wi-fi router and the manual wi-fi connection when you choose or any want to configure any asus new router using the mobile app it will first try to detect your existing internet connection through the wan port or through the lan port or through the usb port you can configure at the time of setup so they, now you can check detecting your internet connection status if you don't have the internet connection then you have to choose the advanced settings to configure it as a data storage network or any kind of network after this setup i will show you how to connect to the gen wi-fi uh, the mesh system or the normal asus ai mesh system it is showing you to connect the your internet connection just press next next now you can choose the advanced settings if you don't have the internet connection then dscp then next then it will choose uh, ask you to choose the wi-fi signal wi-fi signal name and wi-fi signal password and next by next it will configure you the asus router you can do the test one one separate you can use the separate wi-fi uh, name and wi-fi password for the different different band or you can choose the single one for the all band just press next and after that it will choose you the setup login password you can also choose this as the admin now it will setting up the network as a new network it will take some few uh, times after that i will show you what is next and how to configure the other node and how to connect the other node you can also check that whenever this setting up network is going on the led color has changed it's now showing as a red led and this one is still showing as a blue led because we are not configuring right now this one we are configuring this one that's why the red led is going on now you can check there is a good connection your network is operating perfectly wi-fi password test one and this is admin password and you can now finish this Now it's showing the remote connection is enabled successfully. So you can press the OK button. Then you can choose that there is the Gen Wi-Fi one, and Gen Wi-Fi two. There is two router is there in the existing mesh network. But this mesh network doesn't have any internet connectivity. That's why it's showing the red LED. The this is on the master one, and this on the second one. This is the white LED. Whenever you give some internet connectivity, then it will be some green LED. Now I will show you some existing AI mesh system and how to connect this as a node system. We already have some AMS system in our network. This is our existing network. You can check this is internet connection already there. RTX 3000, RTX 55, all are the AMS supported device. Now, if we choose the add node, we get started. Now you can check it's showing it's already set up. Gen Wi-Fi AX has already added to the existing AMS network. We are pressing the OK button. Now if we choose the home button, you can check the existing network. There is one another Gen Wi-Fi AX. So the another node we can choose as the add node is a simple same procedure. But I will show you some settings. You can choose some family settings or so the family blocking as per your child age. You can block some things or from the settings page you can. Check this is the AI protection. This is the trained micro antivirus. You can protection is turn on from this page, or you can use the USB features, FTP, Samba, and eject USB, Wi-Fi, LAN, WAN. Everything features you can do it from there. You can choose the dual one from here. Which dual one you want to use? The secondary one or the dual one mode is disabled right now. Okay. And there is some existing firmware upgrade. Whenever there is some firmware, it will show you some notification. Or some network tool. So all the features you can use from this mobile app. It's very much simple. So you can use this AIMS features with your existing AIMS supported network, or you can use this RT, this uh, XT8 device as your standalone network. So it's a very much powerful router, and powerful features is also exist with this router. Asus Zen Wi-Fi XT8. I hope you have liked this video in terms of its beauty, its looks, and in terms of its technical features. If you want to upgrade your home network or if you want to install your new device in your home network, you can use this device as your main or major purpose. If you liked our video, please share this video as much as possible, like our channel, subscribe our channel and if you need any kind of technical information about this device, please comment us in this video. 
I'll see you on the next video.